Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're using Kali Linux with the XFCE desktop environment and you're frustrating with automatic screen lock, in this video, I'll show you how to disable the screen lock feature in just a few simple steps. So let's get started. By default, Kali Linux with XFC comes with screen locking feature that automatically locks your system after a certain period of inactivity. This can be annoying, especially if you're running long tasks or working without frequent interaction. But don't worry, we can easily disable it. First, we need to access the settings where we can disable the screen lock feature. To do this, click on the application menu in the top left corner, navigate to settings, select power manager. Now, let's turn off the screen lock feature. In the power manager window, go to the system tab. Look for the option and drag this to never. Now go to the display tab. Look for the option and drag both these to never. Or you can uncheck this option to disable screen locking. In some cases, the screen saver can also trigger the lock screen. To ensure it doesn't, go back to the settings manager. Open screen saver settings. Disable these options in Screen Saver tab and Lock Screen tab. This will turn off the Screen Saver and Power Management features that cause the screen to lock. Now, go back to the Settings Manager. Open Session and Startup Settings. In the Session and Startup window, go to the Application Auto Start tab. Now here you can find and uncheck both Screen Locker and XFC Screen Saver from the startup. To make sure the changes take effect, we have to restart the system. Once your system boots up, the screen lock feature should be disabled permanently in Kali Linux using the XFC desktop environment. And that's it. You have successfully disabled the screen lock feature in Kali Linux using the XFC desktop environment. Now, your screen won't lock automatically anymore. If this video helped you, Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more Kali Linux tips and tutorials. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.